Guys, it's time for a change. Welcome back to another colorful episode of the Not So Fair Challenge Green Generation. In this episode, we're changing careers and we're taking care of an infant while my family is here with their infant who also needs a lot of care and attention. Mainly, I'm just excited to do something new. So let's hop in. Today is Sunday morning. We got one more day until work to hang out with our little baby angel, River, who just hopped out of her bassinet and is now a little babalino who has just become good friends with her uncle and with Quentin. That's so cute. We do need to switch out this for another spot here for a little bambino. Also, I think we need some other little items. Let's have Ivy like pick up her daughter here. Is Quentin in here? No, I have no idea where Quentin is. Terrifying. Let's put River in a back carrier and kind of walk around with her a bit. Oh, how dare you put me here from being carried? Let me go. River has not enjoyed this weird backpack thing. What kind of contraption is this? Oh, River doesn't like being in the back. Backpack. Okay, well then in that case, I guess we could put River down here. Jeez, River, I didn't know that you would be so mad at me. I thought this would be fun and I'd go make cocktails, but apparently River is Miss Independent. Does not want mom carting her around. <laughs> I'm a little bummed. I was excited. Let's adjust here so that we can have everything kind of situated for the baby room. I feel like this is so cute, but it's just too wide. Maybe we'll put the little like shelving kind of thing over here. We can kind of hardly reach it, but I think it'll still work. Maybe we'll do this neutral one. All right, so let's get some blue baby stuff. Oh, we could put little toys up here, I guess. Or we could put more toys down here. Just every toy that is blue, our child will will have that toy. All right, we got a lot of baby toys now. Poor River is like, mother! She's like mad, mad. All right, River, you're gonna have to be held for like a second more. Oh, she's sad. Why would you hold me? River says. All right, River, why don't you enjoy that? We're gonna go outside and practice making drinks here with our mom and our little brother here who's bopping. Quentin's having the time of his life. Are you okay, little guy? I can't tell if he's dancing or if he's like struggling, but I'm just gonna assume that we all got it handled. River's a calm infant. Is she? Calm infants like to watch the world, are less likely to cry or become angry, and don't grow tired of activities as easily as other infants are. However, they're less likely to explore the world on their own. That does sound like River, less likely to explore the world on her own. It's kind of weird that Quentin is going to be River's uncle, but they are the same age. Oh my God, the cat is scratching again. Okay, we're gonna lecture the cat about scratching soon, because this is ridiculous. River, meanwhile, is just watching mom play video games. That's so cute. Look, it says watch Ivy. Oh, River, she's so happy. She gets love for her grandparent. She made a new friend. She's a little tired. Okay, sweetie, why don't you try to go night night then? She's gonna take a nap. Ivy, meanwhile, just ignoring. Like, she's fine, don't worry about her. At least mom's cleaning up the dishes from outside. So that's nice. Baby River falling asleep. What a cutie patootie. I wonder if I have utilized all of the lot traits. I've utilized none of them, so that's great. I'm pretty sure fast internet helps with programming video gaming and writing, perfect. That'll help with her gaming right now. And then we have parties go well. I mean, that seems like her. I want one that helps with her mixology. It would be like homie? Mixology. Oh yeah, there you go. Perfect. Moving on. Okay, hopefully that starts helping her with her skills since she's got some fast internet. No load times from Techie Lifestyle. Oh no, why is she sad? River. Oh, why don't you smile at Aspen? Aspen's chatting with her and calming her down. Is anyone there? Oh, she can smile at Kiwi and sleep next to Kiwi. That's so cute. She's a little hungry. Maybe Aspen can feed her. There there we go. Thank you, Uncle Aspen. I am hungry while my mom is playing video games. Can you feed me, please? Oh, he's being such a good big brother slash uncle. Oh, River has a good appetite. That's cute. Who's knocking at the door? <gasps> it's Carrie Green. Isn't Carrie Green dating my brother? Get on in here, girly pop. Come on in. 
Oh yeah, River hates being held. And Kiwi's learned not to scratch. Good job. All right, she's coming inside. Your boyfriend's here. Okay, mom took over my TV, so that's great. Maybe do some tummy time with River. Help her out. Oh, look, look, carried him. Are going over here. What are they gonna get up to? Oh, she's just messing with him. Oh my God, I love them. They're such a cute little couple. I feel like she would be the one that tries to keep him lighthearted. I think Kiwi's hiding under the couch. They, yep, Kiwi was hiding under the couch. I think Kiwi doesn't like new people, so Kiwi got a little afraid when Carrie came in. Oh, actually, Carrie's a young adult now. Ooh, Aspen, you should need to age up soon. Oh, we're getting tired at 5 p.m., probably because we were up all night last night gaming. Oh, okay, my cat is in heat, apparently, even though I'm pretty sure he's spayed. My baby's asleep, and I'm playing video games. We're crushing it. <laughs> Quentin's been put to bed, which is very cute, and Mom is loving dancing up a store. Who is out? Hayden, who are you? What are you doing in my garage? Do I even know you? How many enemies do we have right now? We have one, two, three, four. I'm pretty sure we need five. I wanted to have a work enemy, but Hayden, like, what are you doing? I don't know you. Don't be in my house. My child's right inside. Harry's like, I need to be going. Okay, don't try to be a nice guy now. I'm gonna instigate some stuff with him. My dad's trying to like be the nice guy and like, be like, Kaden, you know, why were you on our lawn? And she's like, yeah, why are you on my lawn, Kaden? Yeah, this man, we're gonna go there. Oh, now we got him really angry. We're pushing him around. Oh yeah, we're gonna fight him. Get off my lawn, fight him. <gasps> You're in the wrong, dude. You came into my backyard and got through my garbage while my family was right here. We're having some festering feelings here between this guy, Caden Goodman. It is on. I'm gonna fight you, boy. She's a protective mama bear, our Ivy. Yes, she won. Yes, go off, Ivy. They now despise each other. Perfect. Okay, let's declare my enemy. And that is our fifth and final enemy. So our enemies and friendships are done. We have officially got all the friendships and enemies that we need. Our parents are a little like, ugh, Ivy, why? Why are you like this? Aw, oh, River's here. River, oh baby, I'm sorry. Oh, she's watching Kiwi. So cute. River's like, Grandma, can I get some foodies, please? I'm hungry. Okay, Grandma's gonna feed me. While Ivy's brushing her teeth, I gotta go to bed. She's just like, I'm exhausted. Yeah, I don't know why Kiwi's uncomfy. I think we need to wake up and ask what's wrong. A litter box? There's one upstairs, Kiwi. Can you not reach it? Okay, I'll put it there. You're okay, Kiwi. The litter box is right there. All right, let's put River to bed after we have a little snack. Actually, maybe we need to quickly change my child's diaper really fast before we put her to bed. I wanna see if we can change her diaper really fast on this, because I haven't seen anyone change a diaper using this yet. Oh no, it's not functional. Shoot, okay. I was so proud of my cheeky little sneak, but it's fine. That's fine, I'm fine, it's fine. I guess we'll just need like a little side table here. There you have it. A lot of circles in this room, but it is what it is. Oh, I love her little outfit. Let's change River's diaper. I'm so mad that that wasn't gonna work though. It was so cute. And then we're gonna put River to bed. She's gonna pass out. Oh no, Ivy's literally passing out right now. She's putting her baby down to pass out. This is bad. All right, maybe we could get put to bed by grandpa. <laughs> grandpa, can you put us to bed, please? He's like, oh God, she's doing her best. Aw, he's He's taking care of her. This reminds me of when Teddy was the dad. Poor Ives, going to bed here. Oh, and look at Teddy taking care of his new baby son. Looks like my family all keeps getting up. Don't know why, but it's all good. Oh, and then Aspen has decided to do tummy time with Quentin, and Quentin's back in the little hamper here. Oh, poor dad hasn't gotten to sleep. Ivy's expected at work for the next shift after her family leave. She cannot take more family leave this time. She goes to work in three hours. So let's get a shower, finish up our programming. At least our baby is still sleeping. Nope, she's awake. She's awake and she is angry. Oh God, and our bills are like more than we have. This is so bad. Well, luckily we're gonna work today. Amber's on her way up. She's gonna come feed the baby. She's like, it's okay, baby. I know mom is busy with work today. Oh, getting the attention she deserves. Ivy meanwhile is getting her programming done for work. She's got about 30 more minutes to finish it. So hopefully Hopefully she does. Nope, she's gotta go to work now. All right, well, we got 75% of our requirement done. What is this outfit for work? Okay, bye, Ive. Have fun at your first day of work. Oh, she did complete her programming. She's just 30 minutes late. Okay, River's getting brought here by Teddy and is gonna play with some toys. Oh, I love that River has a really good appetite and hates being held. Oh, I learned to coo. 
River's being playful because she's playing on her play mat and she loves that her grandparents are staying over. This is so cute. Really taking advantage of those grandparents today. Oh, Ivy has a major deadline approaching and needs to find a way to knock it out. What should she do? Hide in the closet or ask for help? What would Ivy do? She is kind of a hide in the closet kind of girl, isn't she? But I really want her to like speed through this challenge. And I feel like asking for help will give her a bonus, but we're gonna hide a closet anyway. Let's see what happens. Ivy darts into a nearby closet with a laptop and knocks out the work lickety split with time to spare. Ivy struts out victorious and ready for the next task. Performance game medium. That's awesome, Ives. I'm really proud of you, actually. Oh, it's rest time. We need a nap. We're gonna take a little mat nap, a classic. Oh, and he's also taking care of his son. Oh God, she had a blowout while grandpa's upstairs. When does mom get home? 7 p.m.? Oh gosh, okay. Well, grandpa, come feed me, please. And I'm stinky. Can I get a bath, please? I think we can ask for a diaper change and a bath. I'm controlling River. She's very assertive. She gets what she wants and she asks, for it already. She's like, I need food, a diaper change, and a bath, please. By the time mom gets home, the whole blowout will have been taken care of, which is perfect. There she goes, getting her little bath. Oh, and look, Quentin climbed inside, playing with the toys. That's so sweet, I love that. River had her first bath. Put me down downstairs, Grandpa. I'm in my new favorite outfit. I am a little unicorn. Oh, Quentin played himself to sleep in the bedroom. He likes hanging out in River's room, which is so cute. Aww. Okay, we only have one more hour and then mom's finally home. Oh, she's gonna get a promotion today. We're gonna be level four of the tech guru. She goes to work Monday through Friday, 10 to seven. That is so little time spending with her daughter. Thank goodness my family's all here to take care of her because this is bad. And we're home. We got promoted and oh my God, now we're working Saturday. Oh God, and we just got invited to a festival. She just got home from work to hang out with her daughter. You know, maybe we can bring our daughter with us. It's gonna maybe be an annoyance to River because River doesn't like to be held. But too bad, River. You're going to be mad the whole time, but I'm strapping you to my back so I can go hang out with my girlfriends. It is what it is. All right, we're here with our baby. We're going to put her in our back carrier. I want to chat with our girl, McKenna. We're going to do like a little inside joke. We just got promoted. Maybe we can celebrate our promotion. I don't like this outfit though, so we're going to change it. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so we're doing the jokesters versus the pranksters. And you know Ivy's more of a prankster. I think than a jokester. She's a little devious, our girl. Oh my God, River is so mad. Can you try to go to bed? Oh, the carnival's loud and it's keeping her up. This is not good. She's trying. We're drinking our tea. Oh wait, who's this? Sage? I feel like you guys made Sage. Yes, you made Sage. Okay, let's introduce ourselves to Sage. Cheerful introduction. Okay, who else could be here that you guys made? Fletcher St. James. Hold on. Yeah, that's your guys' sim too. That's her new coworker. And that's his sister who could set them up. Up. Okay, everything is going according to plan. The jokesters are in the lead. It's because our friends are over here being jokesters. She's having a good time chatting with Sage. They got along pretty well. They're already kind of friends. Oh, poor baby. She's still trying to go night night. Oh, but we're carrying her around this crying child. But we met Fletcher St. James. We seem pretty expressive like admiration. Oh my God, she just left. We were gonna talk to Bailey and she's like, I'm gonna leave you two at it. Look at that. That is the face of a sister who is scheming. And Ivy has the face of a woman who just met kind of a cutie, even though his outfit is very odd. Let's change his outfit to like one of his cute outfits. There he goes, he looks great now. Enthuse about new show, cause they're both geeks. That's so cute. Okay, they're having like a fun little time. Oh, she's gonna give River a nap in her arms. That's so cute. I'm sorry, River. Oh, look at River taking a cute little nappy. Oh, she's so tired. Oh my God, and we are hysterical. Okay, let's go to the bathroom. This is a mess. Don't put the baby down. Take the baby with you, girl. Girl, you are a little hysterical right now. Oh my God. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my God. It just said Ivy is dying from laughter. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. That is not allowed. Oh my God. Does this mean I fail? Nuh-uh. 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 Oh my God. She's dying. Okay. Think fast, Kelsey. The Grim is here. Grim is here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. 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 Where's my bestie? Bailey, you are now in my family and you're going to get over here. You are going to beg for my life. Bailey, if you do not. Ah! 
Amber! Bailey, avenge me! Oh my god, Bailey's running. Bailey, Bailey, Bailey. You better plead for Ivy. Please, Bailey. Avenge me, Bailey! Bring me back! Please, 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 please. She's my best friend, please. She's got a baby. Don't do this! No! Oh! He said no. You're freaking kidding me right now. Ivy, no. Ivy was running back to go pick up River. She was hysterical for one moment. Like, that didn't even give me time to calm it down. The jokesters are in the lead. Yeah, no dub. I knew I should have said no to these events. I blame you. Where's my friend? She's not even here. My friend left. Oh my God. Hold on. I'm gonna save this as a new save because I haven't saved since the top of this episode. So technically, Ivy is alive. Not so big. Ivy dead. Okay, we're gonna save this separately. Now, obviously, I think this means that I failed the challenge because I didn't finish all of the requirements for her generation, but I do have the next generation already existing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, I'm calming down. So the options are, number one, I pulled the old switcheroo and bring back the old save. I can play up to this point, essentially, like nothing ever happened. It is the safe option. I do truly think it might be the boring option. Number two, too. We just keep going. I guess I have to move River back in with her grandparents. She's raised by them until they kick it, and then she kind of lives with her uncle, I guess. Technically, Aspen could be the new green gen, and we could just finish all the other requirements of green gen with him. Oh my god. He'd have to master gaming and mixology. It would not be ideal. He'd have to master the tech guru career and complete the computer with aspiration, and he'd have to go to every event he's invited to. He would just take up the mantle, I guess, is the head, or I don't have him take up the mantle and we just leave the green generation as a fail. Option three, we do the Sims thing and we do try to bring Ivy back and resurrect her. I don't know what character would do this. I suppose we could play as Bailey and have Bailey be the friend that does her best to resurrect Ivy. That kind of sounds like a pain. Let me figure out how to resurrect the Book of Life. Wait, do we still have the Book of Life somewhere? Did that get passed? down. We wrote some books of life that were untethered in the pink gen, which was, albeit a couple gens ago, but still. Okay, I am going to save and go to manage worlds. I'm going to move Bailey back in with her brother, and I'm going to move the cat, I guess, and the baby in with the family, and I'm going to see if I can do the book thing. Wait, but we didn't grab her urn. I feel like we need the urn, so I'm going to go back and get that. Hold on. I'm panicking, okay? I'm panicking. Did I move those books over? I don't know. Oh, are they still in that bookcase? What happened to the book? Okay, there's mom. Put an inventory. All right, we're accepting Ivy's urn. Oh my God, Ivy Berry. I cannot believe she just died of hysteria. Sadly, Riverberry is now carrying her mother's grave. This is awesome. Oh my God, this is just a nightmare. And that's it. Bailey is going on her business and River fell asleep alone on the ground at the freaking festival that I didn't even want to go to. It's a stupid challenge. But I have a plan. Let's go to the managed worlds. We're saving here. We're gonna go move back in with grandma. And we're gonna track down that book. Hopefully. Oh no, I think the writer has to do it with the book of life. All right, we're going back to Tartosa. We're gonna put the berries back together. I wish great grandma was around. I thought I grabbed all those books when I left because I thought that the kids would wanna read the books the grandmother made. I'm in denial right now. I like fully have not accepted that Ivy is dead. I loved Ivy so much. She was such a little firecracker. Oh my God. What is she wearing? Grandma, put some normal clothes on, please. Thank you. Oh God, she's so sad. She is so sad from losing a child. Let's look at our inventory. We do have a lot of books. Book of Life. Okay, it's Jacqueline. I only have the one and it's connected to Jacqueline. Oh my God, uh, are you kidding me? I wish this were connected to my mom because if it was connected to Rose, then we could have just rezzed Rose and had Rose come back and save Ivy. Oh, why did I never change that? That's so cute. Could have made her stuff peach this whole time. That is literally the least of your worries right now, Kelsey. Your challenge is falling apart. Where is the baby? She's not there. Where is she? She's not there either. Where's River? Okay, where the frick did River go? Hello? I'm assuming she accidentally got into a different family in Tartosa. Nope, nope. Oh my God. Where did the baby go? Oh my God. Well, I feel like I'm gonna have to just start over because I can't even find the air anymore. I can't do this. Now, I did upload them to the gallery pretty recently. So technically all three of these characters still exist. They just wouldn't be related to any of these characters of the world. So I could download them 
them, but then they wouldn't have done any of this stuff from this episode anyway, so it wouldn't really matter. Oh my God, this is such a mess. I can't believe I didn't think to just write Rose's name. I was like, oh, I don't need Rose to resurrect. And now I'm like, Pat Kelsey! What were you thinking? Ugh! And they don't have the kid. I guess I'm gonna call it. Oh my God. I can't believe that just happened. Hello? Wait, it says resume and it has the baby. Where did the baby go? I'm just so curious where the baby went. I'm gonna resume as the baby and we'll see what happens. <gasps> She's stuck in time, lost with her mother. What's another way of resurrecting? The wishing well. All right, I'm willing to try that. Okay, let's go home. Woo, it's been a back and forth, but we found the baby. Thankfully, I went to the main menu and we found the baby. Let's take the baby and we're gonna travel. We'll bring our brother with us. We're gonna go on an adventure. Bailey is on a mission. She's gonna take the baby back to her bestie's house with the cat and she is going to figure out how to get her bestie back. The grandmother's here, everyone's heartbroken. Fletcher actually, seems pretty broken up for having just met her that day. All right, wishing well. Oh my God, it's too much money. Okay, what are we selling down here? This, boom, that's easy to get rid of. This console system, we will happily sell all the stuff down here if we can get our girl back. I do not care. Yep, that's fine. We're just on a, a selling mission here. I guess the computer, her pride and joy, but you know what? Her life was worth more than a computer. We could just delete the whole bunker. That'll do it. Okay, we just deleted the bunker. We can bring the bunker back. It's okay. It's worth it if we could bring Ivy back. Okay, here we go. Here's the wishing well. I am going to save right here because if anything goes wrong, we can just do the wishing well as much as possible. Okay, so let's make an offering of 5,000 simoleons. There you go. All right, we're gonna get her back. We're putting the baby away. She's putting her down upstairs. That's smart. Oh God, she's so sad. She's like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Bailey St. James, we'll owe you our life. She is main character energy right now. Oh my God, mom is upstairs just devastated. Station. Do you see her? She's crying in her daughter's bed. The whole family's devastated. Here we go. 5,000 simoleons, baby. What a highly generous offering. The wishing well is most pleased and will nearly certainly grant a wish well. Okay, we would like to make a wish. How do I make a wish? We have to bring the sim back as a ghost. What? Okay, I'm just gonna give us the 5,000 simoleons back. So I messed up. Let's call forth the ghost, I guess. Yes, I am. Okay, we're gonna add her to our family. Perfect, Ivy is here. Now she's gonna make an offering of 5,000 simile. It's okay, Ivy. Can she join a career as a ghost? Like maybe we just keep going and she's a ghost. That could be funny. Can she earn skills? Okay, worst case scenario, we just continue on as a ghost. I'm cool with that. That is a really weird pivot for this show. I'm into it. But let's try to make an offering first and see if we can make it happen. All right, we made a very generous offering. Ivy's like, hey, please wish for life. Okay, there we go. We're gonna wish for life. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm gonna save right here again. Okay. I don't trust my game anymore. <laughs> Deep breaths, center myself, manifest, Ivy alive again, okay? We've tried already with the Grim Reaper. It didn't work out, so we're gonna try again, okay? Second time's the charm, that's what they always say, and if you say anything differently, don't, don't wreck this for me. All right, here we go, come on, please, please, please. Oh, is this working? Is this happening? She's feeling confident. Just because Ivy's a ghost doesn't mean she can't appreciate the value of a simoleon, and that one, the one she just threw down there at the bottom of the creepy well, appears to have been wasted. Not even a ghost would dare lower themselves in to retrieve it. Oh my God, she's gonna go cry in her bed. Bailey is like, this is weird. Okay, Bailey, I'm gonna let you go. I'm so sorry. We're gonna move you in with your brother. So bye, Bailey. Thank you so much for joining the household temporarily. Oh my God. Well, Ghost Ivy's here. I wish she was green, you know? It would be a little bit more apt. We're coming up to go give our daughter a kiss. We don't have enough money to make a second wish on this, but she is kissing her daughter. This is so sad. All right, yes, hello, Ivy. She's like, Hi, Kelsey. Okay, hi, Ivy. Let's get you a job, I guess. If she can get the job and we could just keep going as if nothing ever happened, I can figure out a way to get her human again, all right? She's already in the family. Did we cheat her into the family? Shh. Shut up. <laughs> Don't talk to me. It's been a hard day. We're rejoining the tech guru. Oh, it's level three. You know what? That's okay. She's playful again. I don't want you to ever find anything funny ever again, Ivy. It's not cool. Oh my gosh, look at Fletcher St. James. Okay, why don't we console him about her death? Go console Fletcher about your own death, girl. He's like, I just met you. Maybe they're meant to be. Honestly, this is kind of romantic. He met her on the day she died and now he's mourning her. He's like, I could have lost something so good. He's very sad. Oh, 
Maybe flatter him. She's so cute. Oh my God, this is cracking me up. Talk about her death. Oh my God, this is so romantic. Now they're having a pleasant conversation. Oh, friends in a time of loss. This trauma really bonded them. <laughs> she's like, yeah, it was really crazy dying. I'm not gonna lie. And she's laughing still. You need to stop. At least she's trying to make light of it. Oh my gosh. Work in two days. I wish we could just start working now. Discuss work. I think they're co-workers. Yes, him and Sage are both co-workers of hers. Wow, look at that. That's so cute. Oh, they just became good friends. Oh my God. Quentin just turned into a toddler. Oh, go give your little brother a hug. I'm <laughs> just drifting in on the breeze to go get her little brother a hug. Oh my God, Ghost Ivy. I want to see if she can learn her skills still. She is playing video games and learning. It's not what we had hoped, but you know what? We can make this work. Now, will it make sense now even more so that Ivy really just wants a normal, classic, perfect life? Yes, because her mother died when she was an infant and she was raised by her mother's ghost. Like, of course she wants a normal life. <laughs> oh my God. She's feeling very playful from hilarious death. She's like, my death was so funny. At least she can laugh about it now. I'm not really laughing about it right now. River is being fed by grandma. I don't think River's seen her mom since she watched her die from the pavement. So I think Ivy, once you're finished up with this gaming skill, you should go up and visit your daughter. And it looks like once again, family's partying outside. So I guess they're all feeling a little better having seen Ivy become a ghost. She just reached level 10 of the game skill so she is now a perfect little gamer that's one more of her skills done so now we just need her mixology skill to get up there that's the only skill we need to really truly work on but right now we're gonna work on the skill of parenting because we're gonna go up and visit our daughter here maybe give a little comfort to her oh now we're green see it's perfect oh look at these two she's like it's okay mommy's still here I would never leave you oh my goodness let me know in the comments below if you want me to continue to try try to resurrect Ivy. Or if you just like, you know what? She should just be a ghost. It's kind of funny. I'll definitely be asking our Patreon members that same question uh, and having them vote on it. This was fun. You know, this is why I love The Sims. Always sends me curveballs that I'm never expecting. I'm gonna leave this one here, but I will see you in the next one. Bye! Freaking can't believe that just happened. I'm shook to my core. <laughs>